Hey guys, it's Di and welcome to Vlogmas. I think that this is going to be the first vlog for Vlogmas. I have a couple vlogs left over from November that I am catching up on, but today will be a little impromptu vlog. Yesterday we... was Thanksgiving. <laughs> yesterday was Thanksgiving and I didn't really film that much yesterday. I have a couple little clips I think of Natalie with and um, we cupcakes. Got our own gifts from Nana. <laughs> For Nana yesterday. I did not anticipate on going out today, like to go shopping for Black Friday. This is not something I normally do. In fact, I did my Black Friday shopping last night and I got a bunch of great deals, which I'll be doing a haul when it all arrives. I did it all online, but there was some things at Disney Store. I got a DVD, the Rio DVD from Amazon for $1.96. And what else did I get? A couple of really good deals. Oh, I got a comforter from JCPenney's. We actually talked about it at the Hangout, the I YouTube Mommy Meetup. I got it for $29.99. I'll show you everything when it arrives. But I'm sure you can probably hear we are at Target today. It's Black Friday. We are going to Target to get cold medicine. <laughs> Super exciting Black Friday list. So it is about 10.40. It's later in the day, so I was hoping it wouldn't be too crazy. It's a little crowded. But um, people are driving like maniacs. They're all hopped up on their Black Friday deals. But I have to go get cold medicine because I've run out and I have a bit of a cold. So that's how we're starting off Vlogmas. Sorry, but what are you going to do? I didn't honestly see any Black Friday deals that I had to get. I did I order, well I won't say that. I did order boots on Target.com last night. Buy one, get one, half off. Prepare for Natalie, prepare for me. Um, I was but other than that, we just have a regular uh, list of stuff to get. Yogurt and stuff, so not an exciting Black Friday shopping day. We're not like going to be diving on top of people for DVD players or anything. All right, so we're gonna head in here and get our stuff and I thought I would just do a little impromptu vlog for Vlogmas today. It's actually not too crazy in here, which is nice. And we found these cute sparkle pillows. So hurry for that. And the kids, of course, love baby toys. All right, so we found a little bit of stuff and managed to make it outside in this cave. So we just ran into Nordstrom Rack real quick because we were just basically across the street. I tried to go to Woodfield but couldn't find a parking spot so I was like, ugh, whatever. I ordered from Sephora this morning anyways. We went to Nordstrom Rack and the girls got candy canes as a treat because they are good. So they're eating those back there if you hear rustling. So I ran into Nordstrom Rack real quick because I don't know if I told the story. I might have at some point but, oh yeah, I mentioned it. I lost my sunglasses on the Animal Kingdom day. So my Tory Burch sunglasses, which I really, really like, and I may still reorder at some point, um, they were lost out in the world at Animal Kingdom that day. So I went into Nordstrom Rack to see what they had, and they had 30% off all the red tag items. I really, really was tempted by a couple of purses, but I was like, no, I don't need any purses. Steer clear of those, what you need is sunglasses. So I found like actually some really great deals, and I ended up getting three pairs because they were so cheap. So. I got these really cute Michael Kors ones and I got these because they have like kind of a tiger striper on the outside but they're a similar shape to the ones that I lost and I really liked that shape. So these are almost the same shape and these were $44 and then the with the percentage off they were like $30 which is pretty good for sunglasses and then I also got some Juicy Couture and I wasn't going to get like more than one or two pairs. But I saw, cane. she got a candy cane. I got these because they were on clearance price, $21. So after the extra percent off, they were like $15. So I thought these were cute too. Me too, me too. And then I got a Michael Kors case. And then I also found a Tory Burch pair of sunglasses. And they're not exactly what I had before, but I do really like them, they're different. They have like purple on the inside, which I really like and the logo is silver I think or really light gold so anyhow these are different than what I had before but I thought that they were kind of cute there's a little bit different shape and I obviously already have a Tory Burch case that is now missing sunglasses that I can use with these so at least I found some sunglasses to replace the one I'm missing so we're gonna head home now and uh, probably do lunch snack nap all that kind of stuff Look at the bracket of the Juicy Couture ones. They have a little heart on there. That's so cute. So we are sitting in line at Starbucks now and we're gonna get some drinks and then we're gonna head home. Yes, we got a snowman cookie. <laughs> he is cute. He's a cute little snowman. That's what he looks like. Yummy, yummy deliciousness. 
And our snowman cookie has a purple scarf. We are back home. Natalie's laying down for a nap and Isabel is using her stencil set that she got yesterday from one of the grandparents. You show me your stencil and I'll show you a quick Target haul, which is a Black Friday Target haul, but it's pretty much all regular stuff. And Isabella wants to show off this zebra drawing. It's got purple stripes and she wrote zebra and her name and we've been doing check marks and X's. Does it mean yes or no? Is that what those are for? Or do they just check marks and X's? This is the check. This is the want wah. That's the want wah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. What is this? Does the zebra have a tail? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's got an extra camel hump. What is this one right here? These are his two hairs. Oh, his hairs. Very pretty. I like your zebra. Purple and blue zebra. Very nice. So here's our Black Friday haul, and again, like all the stuff I purchased, like actually for Christmas and sale stuff was mainly online, but I did find these sunglasses, which I showed earlier, and I wore the Juicy Couture ones home, and I love these, and these, of course, were the cheapest ones out of all of them. They were only 15 bucks. I actually realized these aren't Michael Kors. I just saw the M, and I just assumed. They are Miss Sony, which is kind of an expensive brand. I guess it was originally like 200 something dollar sunglasses it's not focusing but anyways these are missoni sunglasses it's not focusing but i do really like the shape i don't know i feel like three was probably overkill but i do like that shape and so those are working i won't need sunglasses for a while so that's my black friday haul for myself then everything else was from target we had to get baby wipes we had to pick up some milk we had to pick up some apple juice pick up a giant box of uncrustables some liquid egg whites for my breakfast. Did to get some paper towels. I picked up some Santa Fe style chicken. <laughs> Bella's in there operatically singing. Um, go -Gurts. And then some disinfecting wipes. And then I picked up a lot of cute little gift stuff. I'm going to be doing as soon as I have my voice back. Um, like, you know, different gift guide stuff. Just showing what I... My picks for gifts from Target and Sephora and that sort of thing. So I was picking up some last minute like little things to stick down inside the bags. I got a little Marion Bright bag. I got this Sally Hansen little nail file. It's just a dollar to stick down inside things. I got two of these little peppermint bark things. This is one of our favorite treats around the holidays. So I got those to stick down inside people's gifts. I got this little penguin cookie to send to my YouTube Mommy Meetup Secret Santa Sister. I thought that would be cute. And then I also picked up these lotions as little gifts to stick down in the side things. It's French vanilla hand cream. It looked pretty promising. And then I picked up um, this cold relief day and night up and up stuff. I got these stickers. And then I also had to get mailing boxes and tissue paper. And then I got these two pillows, which I absolutely love. This one has a ton of little snowflakes on it, and this one just has one big snowflake. And they're like little sequins. They're really cute. So I may just go ahead and stick these out, and then probably tomorrow I'll start taking all the fall stuff down and put the Christmas trees up and get started on Christmas decor. So we're going to watch the Dr. Seuss Grinch Soul Christmas and see if she likes it, and I'm going to do some editing. I don't think Bella's particularly enthused in The Grinch is Still Christmas because she's gone to play in the leaf pad. Do you like the Grinch movie, Isabella? Yeah. Oh, yeah? It's okay? Yeah. She's like, it's fine, and she goes back to the leaf pad. So Bella's over there finishing up the movie, and I think before Natalie gets up, I'm going to start putting away the last little bits of pumpkins and things that are around the house because I'm going to start putting the Christmas decor out. And the only things that I won't store in here, I store my Scentsy warmers, but I'm not going to store the candles. So I'm going to continue to store my back stock of candles in this little cabinet because that seems to work out well. So I'm going to get all of the rest of the stuff except for the candles in this, this last bin. I do have some other Halloween bins, but this is the only one I need because there's only a couple last fall things left out. I think this was probably one of my favorite finds this year. I love these glitter pumpkins that I got last year. And also this ceramic pumpkin from Pier 1, which I'm not going to unwrap since it's already wrapped up. But this little pumpkin and then this one from Hobby Lobby are some of my favorite finds from this year. So, so cute. And these two things also. Who am I kidding? I love it all. But I found these. Uh, this one at Hobby Lobby. This one at Michael's. I think I had a haul that I never ended up posting. 
And this little thing from Michael's was from that haul. I love this little thing. So, so cute. And these little glitter LED things that I got at Michael's. They're like a darker orange. They were excellent. They sold out of those really quickly, too. And this harvest basket that I got this year also worked out really well for their books. So this isn't going to fit in this bin. I think I can get almost everything else in this remaining bin that I have left that actually has some space in it. Yeah, and I just had to grab some paper from upstairs for my scrapbooking area to see if I can print out some tickets. And I guess I'll explain real quick what I'm planning on doing. These I'm going to use to print out tickets from the Polar Express because on Thursday I'm planning on doing a Polar Express party. I'm very excited about it. So one of the things I wanted to do just this December, Thursday's kind of like our lower key day or it's like our slower day. It's the day that we don't have as much going on. So what I wanted to do is for each Thursday in December before Christmas, so there's only going to be a couple of them honestly, I'm planning on doing a different Christmas themed movie party for every single like Thursday. We're just going to do like a screening of for this upcoming Thursday, we're gonna do Polar Express first. I'm very excited about it. I've been pinning on Pinterest like a mad woman. So if you follow me on Pinterest, you probably already knew about this or thought I was gonna be doing something with the Polar Express because that's what I've been focused on lately. Um, but when I do the actual dedicated video on it, I'll link everything that I use down below. I found some really cute printables, like different, like just coloring sheets and worksheets to go along with it. And I found printables for the Believe tickets and what else? Um, just different activities you can do on the floor and everything before or after you watch the movie. And so then I thought we would get our jammies on and, you know, do the whole ticket thing and get some popcorn and hot chocolate. And that's going to be Thursday. So the Polar Express party is going to be Thursday. And then I let her go ahead and watch the Grinch movie today just to kind of test it out because I thought that would be another day if it's not, doesn't, she at first she's like, uh, but I don't think it's going to be too scary. Natalie doesn't, is kind of indifferent. It's Bella really the one that has affected more. So if we do a Grinch party, that'll be one of the next days. And then I've just got to decide what I want the other ones to be because there'll be about three or four of them. But I'm very excited. It'll kind of be like our little Frozen party that we did when the Frozen movie came out. And I want to try to find at least one Christmas movie that they haven't. They have actually never seen Charlie Brown. Um, so that might be a good one. And I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, so I'm just going to go through and see what movies they haven't seen. I would like to pick at least one or two movies that they haven't seen before. Obviously, Polar Express we've seen before, but I thought this would be a fun activity for us to do. So, um, I'm gonna start getting things ready for that, and I thought that this yellow paper would be good to print out the tickets for it. So, I'm gonna start just getting everything ready the next couple days for the party. So Natalie is awake and having her snack, and we have this chocolate factory fudge that my mom brought up from where she lives. This is a place in Paducah, Kentucky. Chocolatefactory.com I think is their website. Oh, chocolatefactoryky.com. The chocolate factory. They have amazing fudge. She wrote like some stuff at the top so I'm holding my phone over it. But just really, really good fudge. Absolutely delicious. So if you're in Paducah, Kentucky, Stop by and check out, check out their fudge and they've got their own homemade candy they do there. It's really good. Bella's having grapes and orange. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we went to McDonald's on our road trip home last night because my sister lives a distance away. And we went to McDonald's for dinner last night. So I didn't give them their toys because it was dark in the core, but I just opened these up. These are the cutest thing ever. They're penguin binoculars. Well, can you hold it up and look through them? Look through them. <laughs> Those are the cutest things. I had no clue what it was, you know, it was dark. I, was, I just thought they were like little figurines or something, but this is hilarious. safari chance. You wear a binoculars. <laughs> They're adorable. They're binoculars. That's the cutest thing ever. And Bella's already on safari. So I'm prepping the oven, and I guess I can get rid of my turkey towel too. I just saw that. And we are just going to have popcorn chicken and some leftovers that family sent home with us. That's the binoculars. Your binoculars? Uh-huh. <laughs> Natalie's going around the house looking at the binoculars in a Cinderella dress. All right, so I got all the tea towels that were left in here that were more fall oriented, and I'm going to put those away in the bin. My mom just brought this one to me, he says Dear Santa, so I'll start out with that one for Christmas time. I'm just trying to tidy up a little bit around here, so before I take this out to the garage, I thought I'd show this. 
Natalie got this for her birthday yesterday from one of our family members. It's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Funny Firehouse, and it's really cute. It's really, really cute. It's got a little sound thing on the top, and then it's got a little car that came with it and a little Mickey and Pluto figure. It's a really, really cute firehouse. So I just asked for suggestions on Facebook of what you guys' favorite movies were for Christmas with preschoolers. And I'm trying to figure out the last couple days what we're going to watch. Hi, Rapunzel. Um, I want sandwich, please. Oh, sandwich. We're getting ready to have dinner. We're just waiting on Daddy to get here. He opted to go into work today. So we're having leftovers. We've got a green bean cheddar casserole and chicken. Cucumber avocado salad and they had raspberries, but the raspberries are both gone. And Bella's doing some serious matching over here. <laughs> they both got matching games yesterday. Says it for our vlog day today and welcome to Vlogmas. We will be vlogging the majority of the month. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day.